So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a class set of bingo cards in just seconds using Canva. So to begin, you will need a Canva account and you can sign up for free at canva.com or if you're an educator, you can actually create your own free educator account by going to canva.com slash education. But once you're all signed up for Canva, the first thing you'll want to do is to search for bingo cards. This will take you to a page where you can see hundreds of different templates. Go ahead and pick one that you think looks the best. We're going to go in and customize this template. So here is our bingo card. If we were just using one bingo card, it'd be really easy just to change these individually. But what we want is several different versions of class bingo cards that I can pass out and it's going to have the same squares, but in different order. So here's what we have to do. The first thing we'll want to do is to set the visual the way we want it. So if you want to change the colors in the background like this, change the fonts or go to the elements and add individual items on the card this is the time to do that now we'll want to do this up front so then when we duplicate our card our format is going to be all set the next thing we're going to want to do is delete the squares that come on the template okay that's gone and what I'm going to do is just add a different square for a background I'm just going to add my background right over here. This is where I'm going to put all of the individual squares. Let me go ahead and make that white. Perfect. Okay, so now we are good. So now this is where we're going to use the Bingo Cards app. So to do that, go to apps. We're going to search for Bingo Cards. And there they are. I'm going to open this up. We'll have to figure out how many squares we want by selecting grid size. So I'm gonna say a grid of five by five. We can select the font that we want. I'll just take Gil Sands and then the number of cards. So I'm going to say 20 because there's 20 students in my class. The next thing I'll need to do is to enter words that I wanna put in each one of those squares on the grid. So I can enter my own words if I have vocabulary words or terms from a particular lesson or unit. You'll see right over here, there are individual categories that I can choose from as well, like Harry Potter. There we go. If I select Harry Potter, you can see some of the suggested terms that Canva has added. Of course, I could add my own as well if I wanted to. I'll just want to make sure that I have 25 different terms to fit my grid, which is five by five. So I'm going to have 20 different cards. The next step for me is to duplicate this 20 different times, just like that. Okay, I've got about 10 different pages, which should be good for a demonstration. And now I'm going to select this button that says create bingo cards. Here we go. You can see that Canva generated a different card. So this is card number one. Let me just take that and just position this right over here. Card number two. There we go. Same thing. I'm just going to position that on the second template that I have. Let's scroll down to card number three. So you get the idea. You just take each of those individual generated cards, drag them onto your bingo card. And now what you're looking at are three different cards that have all of the same terms, but in just different positions on the grid. So after you do that for all 20 of your cards, there's a few different things you can do. What I would recommend doing is selecting share, choosing download. I'm going to change this to a PDF print and I'm going to select download. It will take all of these bingo cards, create a PDF, which you can then print, cut them out, laminate, do whatever you need to do to play this game in your class. So hopefully this has been a helpful tutorial. If you have any questions, please feel free to send a message below. And if this is content that you would like, I would love it if you could subscribe here to EdTech Hustle. Thank you so much and have a great day.